Hey everyone and welcome back to Bogey's Backyard Golf. I'm bringing you another DIY solution for controlling your golf simulator. Now in previous videos we've set up small control boxes that attach to your hip and also how to configure a stream deck using an iPad. Now both are great options as well as a physical control box. Those work well too. But today I have something new I'd like to share with you that might just be the perfect fit for your golf sim. This is what it looks like. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is head over to gameglass.gg and you're going to download the application to your computer. I have a PC. I downloaded the PC version. That is step one and that's the Gameglass hub. Once you have that installed, you're going to head over to your app store if you have an iPad and you're going to install the Gameglass application on your iPhone or your iPad depending on what device you're going to be using for setting up your GS Pro controls. So once you have the app installed on both, they will sync and all of your modifications will be made on the desktop version. And once you save, it will automatically propagate on your iPad or tablet, whatever you're using. That's what you need to do first. Once that is done, we're gonna get into the next section. Okay, here we are, Game Glass is now installed and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head over and click on insert. You're going to see a components menu on the left with all of your options. We're going to start with buttons. Here are the buttons that are available. Now there's two versions, free version and a paid version. You're only going to need the free version. The free version will be just fine if you're just looking for basic control. So let's start with our first button. We're going to create our first button. Let's call this flyover, which is pretty popular. I'm going to create this start to finish, and then we're going to create the rest. Once you create the button, over here on the right, you have the ability to change the color, the font. You can add a border to it, effects. Let's leave it gray. These are your themed colors that are set by default, but you can change those by heading up here to the paintbrush and create your own theme. But for demo purposes, we're going to leave it. So let's leave this at gray. Maybe the font will change that. Let's go with um, open sands and it's on bold already. So we'll leave that. And for flyover, we're going to, let's add an icon. So head down to icon and there's a, a icon library. Click on that. And let's look for drone. Not the New Jersey drones, just a drone. Now you have the ability to enlarge it, position it, change colors. Let's put it on the right and let's enlarge it. So now we have our flyover button. Once we have the button created, we're going to head over to Actions. And this is where we're going to keybind. So you're going to click on keybind and then record. And all you're going to do is hit the GS Pro corresponding hotkey, which we know is O. So you click on O, and that's it. This button is now active and live and will work. If you save now, that will initiate a flyover within GS Pro. So now that we have our first button created, let's create a few more. And we do that by just clicking duplicate. Now let's bring them down. And the reason I'm doing this 
is because we want to keep the consistency of the button. So color remains the same. The size of the icon will be the same unless we adjust it later. But let's do, um, we'll do four more. So flyover is complete. Next, let's go with, let's head over to text and let's go with shot cam. All right, and we don't want a drone. Let's change that. So we'll head down to icon, change icon. Let's, uh, let's go with like binocular. We'll use binoculars. Let's shrink that icon down a little bit. So the button is done. Now we just need to go into action. We need to change this. So we're going to record, and this is J, because we know J is the shortcut for shot cam. So that's done. Next, let's go with heat map. So head over, and we're going to edit the text. Call that heat map. And now we want to change the icon. So let's change it. Let's type in heat. Uh, let's go with something like this. That's a little large, so let's shrink that down a little bit. And let's change the color. Let's make it red. Reddish, orange. That looks good. Yeah, maybe a little more red. Okay. And we need to go in and key bind that as well. So we're gonna record. And we know heat map is Y. That's done. Let's go mulligan. All right, we're going to change the icon. Let's get a golf club. Golf club. It's on the position is right. Because we duplicated the original button and we had the icon on the right, it put everything on the right by default. That's done. And then we just go in, record. And we know Mulligan is Control M, so you're just going to hold down the Control key, M, and you see it puts it in there for you. Done. All right, we'll do one more. Let's make this one hide objects. Let's go change. Let's go tree. Let's pick something like this here. So we want to hide objects. Okay, and then we're going to go in, record, and this is B. All right, so we've got five buttons set up. Let's go over to insert or aiming. We want to get rid of the label because there is no need for a label here. And we're going to go right to the icon. And let's look for arrow. Here's an arrow. And we'll keybind. Record. It's the up arrow on the keyboard. So arrow up, done. All right, so the first one is done. Now we're going to duplicate and add three more. You can align everything with the grid, make it consistent throughout. Up arrow is done. Now we're going to go into keybind, record. We're going to hit the right arrow. And we're also going to change the icon to a right arrow. And we're going to head back in here and we're going to change this one to the down arrow. Also the icon down. And this is going to be arrow left. You might want to make your arrows a little bit larger. So that is how you set up your control box on the iPad using Game Glass. We can also add panels, which kind of gives it a nice clean look.
Just click on the panel of your choice, drag it over the buttons. Now you can see it's covering the button, so all you do is you head up here to the layer icon, click send to back. Now it's in the back, but it gives it a, a nice look. When you're finished, all you're going to do is save it. You're going to give it a name. That's it. So this should give you an idea as to how this works and what you can do with it. The free version gives you everything you see here. Very easy to configure. Let's show you how this works. So just like any control box, you get the flyover. You hit that. We're at Champions Gate. This is a newer release. Let's go to shot cam. Heat map. You can see heat map comes on. And now we'll look at, well, we can't do mulligan because we haven't hit the ball. Um, hide objects, UI, and I'll hit that one. This is left and right. Tap that. Go left and right, forward and backwards. Now let's look at next hole. So we're in practice mode now. Let's bring the UI back. And as you can see, we're on the first hole at Champions Gate. And let's hit next hole. And it brings us to hole two, hole three. We can go back. We can club up and down. You can see it down in the bottom left. Three wood as I'm changing it. Um, we can switch to putter. Here's your scorecard. We don't have a scorecard because we're in practice mode. T box. You can slide to the right and left. Sound off, sound on. That's pretty much it. That's how it works.